H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus. One-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. So welcome guys, welcome for today's class after a long break I think. So today we will see like what Hadoop commands are about, how to copy some files from our local file system to HDF, HDFS and the same way how to copy from HDFS to local, how to create a directory and all those things and few other programs as well, right? So. In our previous class, we have discussed like what are the different ways that we can interact with HDFS, right? So there are three different ways. To interact with HDFS. So the first one is command line interface and the next one is Java API and the next one is browser interface but still sorry web interface but still this is used only for browse here we will not be able to create uh, any file or any directory directly through the web interface. This is only used for view purpose only. So, but still this is the most easier way to view any of our files, right? Instead of giving some commands on our terminal and doing all those things, it's always easier to have a interface, web interface, which will be easily understandable by everyone, right? And the next one is so along with these things we have few other tools as well right so we can load the data through scoop or flume so we all very well know about flume and scoop but still we are going to discuss in our later sessions but for right now on a high level on a topmost view scoop is used to load the data from our databases so we have our traditional databases right mm, maybe our SQL database or Oracle database maybe our PLSQL database or something like that so from those databases I can load data from load the data uh, sorry uh, we can load the data from those databases to our Hadoop file system so scoop is used to load the data which is in a structured format so for example if you take our oracle database there will be lot many tables and we will have rows and columns and there will be some referential constraints and all other things as well right so for that reason scoop is used to load those kind of data and coming to flume Flume mostly uh, handles unstructured data, maybe our blogs or images, whatever the uh, data which is not in a most readable format. So we will be generating some logs and all those things for unstructured data, right? So those logs can be loaded into HDFS through Flume. So anyways, we will discuss Flume and Scoop at the end of our sessions on how to load and all those things. But right now, we will majorly concentrate on command line interface and Java API. Okay, fine. Okay, so for that, let me enter into my VMware so that I can try running few commands today and maybe you can practice very well at your home
So is everyone able to install Hadoop on their systems? Okay. Okay, that's great Rahul. Mm -hmm. So guys, just follow that document and you should be able to install it. But still, don't panic if you are not able to install. Uh, or don't worry, just have a Google browse of your problems and maybe whenever I am available, I will help you guys. Mm, of course, installing Hadoop is a very tedious thing, I know. I do understand. Okay. So we all were aware of these commands, right? Okay. Yeah, hi Sneha, hi. Okay, thanks for joining. So, everything is running up. Let me log into my user interface as well. So something is happening here. I'm not able to give commands. So my name node is up and everything is fine right now. So let's see few commands today. So probably we will finish our HDFS sessions today and uh, from our next session onwards we can start working on MapReduce. Okay guys? So this is the first command in our HDFS. So it is called as MKDIR. The usage of MKDIR it is it is used to create any directory. So if at all I want to create some file in my Hadoop directory, I can do it using MKDIR command. So let's try with the command here. Maybe training is already there. So let me go with training 1. Okay, so I am trying to create a directory at user Hadoop in Hadoop 1.0.3. So let's see through our interface whether we are not able to create the directory or not. 
So this is the place where we can check all our files that have been created till now. So if I click on browse the file system, I will be able to see all the directories and all the paths as well. So now I had created it at user, right? So Hadoop inst Hadoop 1.0.3 and here I had created a directory called as training1. So this directory doesn't have any files right now and so it is empty. So this is how I create a command. So if I want to create more than one directory, I can follow the same using the above one. Hadoop fs make directory path1, path2, path3 and so on. So at the same time I can create number of directories as well. So I would suggest that uh, if I if you want to execute any of your MapReduce programs, then it's better you create a directory and copy all the files that required for your inputs and create at the same area your output files as well, such that all the files related to a particular program will be in a separate directory and it will be useful for you in your next sessions as well, in, in your next trainings also. So the next command is write files from HDFS to local file system. So this command is used to write a file from our local file system to our HDFS. So uh, once you install our operating system Linux, definitely we will have our local file system, right? So on top of that we are installing Hadoop and by default once we install Hadoop we will get HDFS as well right which is a new file system so totally there will be two file systems one is the local file system and on top of it there will be HDFS which is Hadoop distributed file system so what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to copy a file from my local file system to HDFS so the command that is used to do this is Hadoop FS copy from local my input path and then my output path so here I am trying to copy a file called as program2. So this program2 is available at this place, home Gita programs. So let's see whether it's available there. Home Gita programs pgm1. So this is what I have in my pgm1. This is the first program in Hadoop. This is copy from local to HDFS right so let's execute this command in our terminal so but still I am doing it in training 1 as we already have a training folder so now let's browse our file system so now I had this program to into my training one directory so let's see and open this is the first program in Hadoop this is the copy from local to HDFS right guys so this is what I have in my local file system as well so that means this file have been copied to my HDFS in order to perform if at all I need to perform any operation on it uh, yes Sneha I do understand your problem but still I mean definitely you can go through all the recordings and I'm sure that you will be able to understand all the things uh, till now we had around uh, six to seven classes I think I, I don't remember exactly but still you will get all the PPTs and recordings for them and I could say like most of the things we have covered till now is theoretical from today onwards we have started hands-on and still also the today's hands-on session is a very smaller session it's like the basic commands which we can play with our HDFS but from tomorrow in the sense from the next session onward we can start discussing on um, MapReduce which is the core heart of our Hadoop course so don't worry about these things uh, everything is going to set right maybe in one or two days don't worry about all those things okay okay I'm not sure about that Sneha maybe you can talk with the organizer on that yeah definitely he will help you 
and he will share you all the PPTs also. And guys, don't worry or uh, don't confuse while opening these documents. The password to open all these documents is H2K. So I had kept I had kept a default password called as H2K to open any of the PPTs. Okay, so, uh, I think few people have problem opening these PPTs. So that's the reason I am telling you. Okay. Okay guys, fine. Okay. Fine. Akshay has a problem stating that he is not able to view name note. Uh, maybe Akshay, I think you have to format your name node. Maybe you missed that step and that should help and you should be able to see your name node available. And also guys, make sure that all your three sites were perfect. If there is any problem in any of your sites, then I'm not sure that how you are going to set up your cluster, okay? So maybe I will share those three sites as well to you so that you can just have a quick check whether you have the same things as well. Yes. Okay. Okay, fine guys. Okay, so and also guys remember like whenever you have a command like this in Linux file systems we have a procedure while writing a command. Always the first word will start with a small letter. So if you see here in copy I have C as a small and also the next words that have been followed with this copy everything starts with a capital letter. So in from I have FS capital and in local I have LS capital. So this is what we follow for all the commands that we give in Hadoop file system. And also all the commands will start with Hadoop FS. So whenever you want to interact with Hadoop file system definitely you have to give Hadoop FS and then only after your particular command what you want to do. So the command wholly says as Hadoop FS copy from local input path of your local file system and then the output path of your HDFS. So along with this we have one more command called as put command. This put command is also used for the same purpose. So again the format would be Hadoop FS put local file system path and then again Hadoop file system path. Okay, so let's move to our next command which is read files from HDFS. So most of the times you may be in a situation like you want to know what all files that were available in a particular directory. As this is a new directory which we had created, we all know like what files we have in our training one directory. But maybe sometimes maybe some other user may log in and someone wants to look at some of the directories that were already available in my Hadoop file system. So at this time, the command which helps for me is Hadoop ls. So if at all I give the command Hadoop fs ls and then the path of the directory which I want to check, it will give all the 